Hello guys, today we are going to see digital circuits week 11 and this is Benilla. In Intel 8085 microprocessor, the ALE signal is made high to. ALE is address latch enable and this is the pin diagram of 8085. So here AD02, AD7, this is an 8, uh, uh, bit, 8 bit bus. So here it is a multiplexed bus. So ALE is made one to make this data bus into a lower order address bus. The clock speed of 8085 is 3.125 MHz. CMA is complement the accumulator. So perform once complement of the accumulator content. Here the, they have given the accumulator content as 4E uh, after the arithmetic operation. What will be the status of the parity flag? So parity flag is set if your parity is even. It is clear if your parity is odd. So 4E means 0, 1, 0, 0. And E is 1, 1, 1, 0. So number of 1's is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it is parity is even. So your parity flag is set. In microprocessor, the accumulator content they have given as 0F. And carry flag is 0. What will be the content of your accumulator for A, R, A, R, 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 C? R, A, R is nothing but rotate accumulator right involving carry. So what do you mean by that? So this, this may be your carry here. So they have given carry flag as 0 and then the content accumulator content is 0F. So 0, 0, 0, 0, F, 1, 1, 1, 1. So here they have uh, RARs rotate accumulator right through carry, involving carry. So this LSB goes to your carry and this carry bit is shifted to here and this bit to here, 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 here. Here, here and here in this way. So this 1 will be shifted to your carry. The 0 will be the MSB of your accumulator. Then 1 shift. So totally the value is so 0, 0, 0 is 0 and then 0, 1, 1, 1 is 7 H. So accumulator content after your RAR is 0, 7. Now we will see what is your RRC. RRC is rotate write the accumulator. So here you are going to rotate the uh, um, accumulator content to write. That's it. So you are copying the LSB value to carry nothing else. So we are not involving uh, the accumulator for the shifting operation. So that is the meaning of it. So here this LSB content will be copied to your carry as well as your MSB here. Right. So the value will be 1 here. This will be 1. And this 0. So here the shifting operation will be performed this way. So here this 1 comes here. So this shift 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So now 1, 0, 0, 0 is 8. And then 0, 1, 1 is 7. So your RRC value is 87H. 87H. How is the data accessed in uh, 885 stack memory last in first out? How many t-states are required to execute your LXI D? So LXI is load the D register pair with this value. So the data D will be loaded with your 12 and E will be loaded with your 34. So this is your uh, LXI. So now to get the address of the instruction, we will be using your opco. Fetch that is your 4 t-states. To read your 12 data from the memory, memory D. To read the data 34, another memory read, which is your 3 states. So, totally it's going to be 10 states. Which of the following is an 8-bit register? So, here accumulated is an 8-bit register. All other 3 are 16-bit register. Which of the following register is non-programmable? Interrupt register is, not, uh, is a non-programmable. Uh, uh, Internal register. Which of the following register pair holds the memory location address? So here HL register pair. M means it's a HL register pair. How many times uh, the exclusive OR of B instruction will be executed? So here your BC pair is uh, loaded with 0, 0, 1, 0. It's an hexadecimal value. So next is your DE register pair data will be uh, decremented by 1. The C content will be moved to your A. And then uh, with that content you are going to perform the uh, logical or operation with your B content and if the value is not equal to 0 this loop will be executed. So how many times this loop will be executed now? 
So the find the decimal value of this one. That many times your loop will be executed. So de decimal value of 0, 0, 1, 0 is going to be 16. So 16 times this loop will be executed. So here they, they ask you to find the total DD produced by this uh, group of instruction. So here uh, for a total delay now you have to find the t states of this one so mvic so for mvic you have your opcode fetch plus for fetching this ff you will be having your memory read 3 so totally it's going to be 70 states then this is going to be loop so in the previous problem we saw that the loop will be executed by the number of that is the decimal value of this data here so ff decimal uh, value is going to be 255 so 255 times this uh, loop will be executed so how many t states for this one decrement is only your opcode fetch you don't have any data 8 bit uh, data or address 16 bit data or address so it's only opcode fetch here for the fit, getting the address of your jn uh, jump on no zero opcode fetch is going to be 4 and then this loop is a 16 bit uh, address here so 16 bit now 3 plus 3 memory read so totally it's going to be uh, so 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 3 is going to be 14 t states so 255 times this 14 t states will be executed and then the 7 t states will be executed once in this 250 uh, uh, for, for, that is it, it will be of 14 into 255 in this what happens here in the last uh, uh, execution this jump on no zero your c becomes zero so that time jump on no zero will be executed so the condition will be failed so without executing this loop it comes out of the equation so this six three plus three six cycles will be uh, reduced here right so this is going to be the thing so here your uh, actual value is seven plus your 14 into 256 in this you are going to subtract your six t state so this total value t state should be multiplied by the time delay. so here they have given the clock frequency as 2 megahertz so here it's going to be 1 by 2 megahertz is going to be 0 0.5 microseconds so totally it's going to be uh, 0 1.783 milliseconds what is the minimum number of t states required for a simple move move is only that instruction alone so opcode fetch four t states in the timing diagram your uh, for memory write you need three timing diagram so t1 t2 and t3 so in this one in t1 will be uh, fetching the address where the uh, data should be returned so uh, in this t2 alone your write signal will be activated which addressing mode is used in this instruction so LDAs load the accumulator with the data present in this memory location so the data present in the memory location that memory location is given directly in the instruction so it is called as direct addressing modes thank you guys have a nice day subscribe my channel for automatic updates